Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, my favorite ROM, which is the Shuji ROM. Uh, it's been updated to version 2.1. Uh, it is by Mobile Sensei, and he has ported it over to the 4.5.602 framework on Gingerbread for the Droid X. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a quick install tutorial and then a quick review. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're on a Gingerbread 2.3.3 version. 4.5.602 that's the latest over the air updated uh, version of gingerbread by Motorola and Verizon uh, so you can get there by accepting the over the air update and then of course you need to root your phone uh, via the one click root method I have a video uh, on my channel for that as well so just check that out to get root uh, or you can install one of the pre-rooted uh, .602 stock ROMs from P3 Droid I have video on how to get there as well. Uh, so once you're at 602 and you're rooted, uh, you want to grab a application called Droid 2 Bootstrap. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the install tutorial. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab those files, the Shuji ROM 2.1, and also go ahead and grab a theme if you want to theme it. Uh, there at the link in the description, I have the ROM link. And also have themes that are posted there that are also by Mobile Sensei, the developer of the ROM. Uh, so once you have those two files downloaded to your SD card, you'll open up Droid 2 Bootstrap. And you'll see this little message here click Bootstrap Recovery, click OK, and then Reboot Recovery. Now that's going to take just a few seconds to boot into Recovery. Uh, the way that we navigate through the Recovery menu, Volume is up and down, uh, camera button selects, and the back button goes back. Alright, so as soon as that loads, you're going to want to go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. You'll select that, go all the way down to Yes, Delete All User Data. I am already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that right now. Then you go to Wipe Cache Data Partition and you will select that and then you'll go down to yes wipe cache and I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go back and then let's get a little closer so you can see better here uh, once you have that completed you'll go down to uh, install zip from SD card select that choose zip from SD card and if you install your files directly to your phone like me uh, it'll be found in your download folder so scroll down to the download folder open the download folder and what you're looking for here is uh, shujiram 2.zip and you'll click that and then you'll go down to yes install shujiram 2.zip uh, or it may say 2.1.zip and once that finishes installing, it'll take about five minutes. If you decided to install a theme, then you go back to install zip from SD card before you reboot your phone and choose zip from SD card. And then you'll come and uh, open that download folder again. And I chose the Skynet theme. And I'll kind of give you guys a review on that theme along with the ROM here in just a second. So you open up that folder and then you will choose whatever theme uh, you picked and you'll go down and install that once that's finished you will go back and uh, click reboot system now okay and the very first time that you reboot the phone it will take several minutes to reboot so be patient uh, don't worry you have not bricked your phone the only uh, the only thing you have to be worried about is if it does boot loop, uh, you didn't wipe your data correctly. You'd have to go back into uh, the recovery and wipe your data. So I'm just going to pause it here and then we'll do a quick review once it boots up. Okay guys, once it boots up, of course you'll uh, go through and set up your Google account. Um, but you'll see there that it does have the AOSP lock screen. Uh, it was themed red for Skynet. Uh, you also see that in the Skynet theme, he includes uh, an application for the Droid Bionic wallpapers. 
So if you go into menu and then more options and wallpaper, I'll go ahead and show you what the Shuji ROM comes with. It comes with the Sensei mod wallpapers, and there's several there to choose from. Uh, it also comes with a live wallpaper that was ported from HTC. And we'll open up the live wallpapers and show you that real quick. It's called the Windy Weather Wallpaper. It's pretty neat. And that would be the Windy Weather Wallpaper that it comes with. And then if you installed the Skynet theme, it also came with the uh, Droid Bionic Wallpapers. Uh, right there, it's called P3 Droid, uh, Droid Bionic. And that'll give you all the Droid Bionic wallpapers. And the coolest one, obviously, is the first one there. It makes it look kind of 3D. And it comes with this modified ADW launcher. Now, this ADW launcher, uh, the way that it's modified is you do have these transition effects. Here, if you just downloaded ADW launcher from the market, it would not come with these uh, transitioning effects. Uh, ADWX from the market is $2, and it does come with some transition effects, uh, but not this cube, and also there's a page transition that's pretty neat. So the way that you would go and adjust your ADW settings, because it comes stock on this ROM, is click Menu, and then go to ADW Settings, and you'll go to Screen Preferences, and at the bottom of that, you'll see Desktop Transitions. And my favorite is Cube, but you also have uh, Rotate, Page, and Scatter. I'll show you the page that's also pretty neat it gives it kind of like a you're turning the page look there um, then of course another one of my favorite ADW settings is the well you have the app drawer you can do either vertical or horizontal and in the UI settings the main dock style you can choose how many icons you want there and I chose five but you can go with three or one. And there's several other uh, different settings that you can make for your launcher. I mean, that comes stock with Shuji ROM. Another thing that it comes stock with that's pretty neat is a ROM toolbox, which we'll run through that here in just a minute. But it also comes with a word, uh, like a Microsoft Word, and it's called Polaris Office. So that's basically like Microsoft Word for your phone pretty neat that that comes with the ROM. Uh, let's see here, we will run through ROM Toolbox real quick. Uh, this is an application that's being worked on by the developer Jay Rummy, but he's given Mobile Sensei permission to use it in his ROM. Uh, so it has several things like you can wipe data cache, Dalvik cache, and battery stats without booting into clockwork. Then it has uh, app application manager there. Uh, it has CPU settings, so you can like overclock your phone from this menu. Um, it has reboot commands here. Uh, your power options up here, you can just power down your phone. But with this ROM toolbox, you can actually reboot your phone or hot reboot your phone or reboot into recovery, which is pretty neat there. Uh, terminal, terminal emulator, spare parts, and DSP manager are all in the ROM toolbox, and you can change your battery icon right here from the toolbox. So uh, this part of the ROM toolbox makes me think that there's even more customizations coming. Um, I imagine those will come out pretty soon. And the main thing about this ROM, because you really don't have the customization features that you would with like a CM7 uh, or Liquid or uh, MIUI, the main thing here though is battery life. Because with those other ROMs, uh, your phone would be dead. Uh, within the first, you know, for most of us, the first eight hours of use. I've been using my phone very heavily all day. I've pretty much been on the phone checking emails and whatnot all day long. And I've even run some YouTube videos today. But I'll go into battery use and show you that I've been on this thing for nine hours and 11 minutes since I've unplugged it. And I'm still at 40% using this thing very heavily all day long. And that is basically uh, the main reason why I would suggest a Shuji or an Apex ROM over like a CM7 ROM uh, because of the battery life. Yes, it has uh, less customization features and yeah, your performance isn't even going to be as awesome as like your CM7. Now, performance is not lacking on this ROM at all. You can see how incredibly fast this ROM is. 
uh, the quadrant scores up in the 2000s. Uh, so you know that this ROM is extremely fast. And it's really not lacking in performance at all. Uh, but what it does have over the CM7 style ROMs is battery life. And if you're like me, you're on the phone quite often. And uh, you really need your phone to last you until you get home from work so you can plug it back in. And uh, I don't know, maybe you're one that carries a charger around with you everywhere you go. But I have to have my battery to last me all day. Uh, so that's why I'll stick with the Shuji ROM or either Apex uh, until they can get Cyanogen Mod to where it's a little, a little better on the battery life. But any guy, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you guys uh, Shuji ROM. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Check out DroidModerX.com and also follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Intoxicated world.